Hello students. Today we are going to study can matter change its state from the chapter matter in our surroundings. I had said to you earlier that matter basically has got three states solid, liquid and gaseous state. Okay, all the properties also I have said. Today we are say, seeing that can one change state can be changed to other. For example, if we are taking water okay in its solid form liquid form and gaseous form solid form it exists in the form of ice liquid form it exists in the form of water and gaseous form it exists in the form of water vapor okay for this we will be performing an activity which is given in your book activity 1.2 in this we are seeing during change from one state to another, no temperature difference is observed. So, for this we will be performing an experiment. Okay, isn't it? You can see the figure on the board. It is consisting of what? Beaker, Bunsen burner, thermometer, glass stirrer. Isn't it? In this, what we are taking in this uh, beaker, we are taking what? We are taking ice and then we are heating it with the help of the burner. Thermometer is there to see the temperature over there. We note the temperature first. It is 0 degree Celsius. Okay. After heating has started, we are seeing it is forming water but the temperature of the thermometer is not changing. Why does this happen? why the temperature is not changing even though we are providing heat to it the temperature should change but it is not changing it means some process is going on but temperature difference is not seen it means some energy is being taken by some particles here ice is converting into water isn't it if it is converting into water what is happening the Particles now have got more energy, the particles of water rather than ice, you know because the structure of ice is in solid form, particles are closely packed in water form, in liquid form, you are seeing what the particles are not so closely placed, it has got space between it, isn't it? So here kinetic energy has increased, but the temperature difference in the thermometer we can't see why this is happening this is because here in changing of state this energy is being used okay actually when ice is being forming water it is melting so for that I must let you know that what do you mean by melting and melting point okay what is this Melting is the process in which the solid is being converted into what? The liquid form. And what is melting point? Melting point is the minimum temperature at which a solid melts to become a liquid at atmospheric pressure. And that is called melting point. So here if we are talking about water, the melting point of uh, this uh, ice is water. It is 273.15 Kelvin. Okay. And this process of melting is known as what? Fusion. Here fusion means what? The change of solid state into the liquid state. Okay. So, we are talking here that the temperature did not change. Okay. The temperature of the thermometer did not change. Why it didn't change? I said you that some energy has been used to convert that solid form into the liquid form of water. And this, here a word comes latent. Latent means what? The hidden form. Here we can't see where the temperature has gone, where the energy is being utilized, heat energy has been utilized. It is in the hidden form and that is known as latent. The word latent only means hidden. So what is latent heat of fusion? It is the amount of heat energy required to change 1 kg of solid into liquid at atmospheric pressure at its melting point is known as what? 
latent heat of fusion. Here the value has been fixed to 1 kg. It means 1 kg of solid is being changed into what? Liquid. And the amount of energy or the amount of heat energy required at that atmospheric pressure and at its melting point. So here we can see that the particles of water at 0 degree Celsius has got more energy than particles of uh, water at 0 degree Celsius in the uh, solid state. Actually what happens here in liquid state as the space between the particles of water is more so it can move freely and it has got more kinetic energy and here interparticle forces are less but when we are talking about the ice which is in the solid state here naturally the energy will be low because here the particles are closely arranged so interparticle forces are more no space to move so kinetic energy becomes less so at this same temperature that is 0 degree Celsius the kinetic energy of same water in liquid state will be more rather than in the solid state. Now we will be seeing the experiment in which water in the liquid form is being changed into its gaseous form or vapor form. In this experiment we are seeing we are taking what? We are taking again a beaker, burner, thermometer, stirrer okay and in this what we are taking is here we are taking in the beaker what water in liquid form and we are heating it okay and after being heating also we are seeing at some time vapors are coming out of the beaker but yes the temperature in the thermometer is again not changing here as we have studied earlier ice converting into water here energy was being taken to convert the solid form into liquid form and in this experiment here what is happening the synergy is being consumed or it is being used to convert the liquid form of water into the gaseous form of water now let us understand what is the procedure and what is going on over here okay so here we are going to study what instead of melting point what boiling point so what is boiling point it is the temperature at which liquid starts boiling at atmospheric pressure okay so when we are talking about boiling boiling is a bulk phenomenon okay here what is the boiling point of water boiling of point of water is 100 degree Celsius or 373 Kelvin okay so how it came 373 Kelvin it will become 273 plus 100 becomes what 373 Kelvin here you will see what the where did this energy go if the temperature does not change in the thermometer actually here also the energy is being used up in converting the liquid into the gaseous form so again the word latent will come and this latent and here the liquid is being changed into gaseous form or vapor form then it becomes what vaporization so the word came also again what latent heat of vaporization so what is latent heat of vaporization we specify it it is the amount of heat energy required to change 1 kg of a liquid into its vapor form at atmospheric pressure okay here when we are talking about the kinetic energy here the liquid is being changed to vapor form so what will happen here the particles of water in the gaseous form will have more energy than the particles of water at which is in the liquid form so energy will be more in the vapor form why again I am saying the space intermolecular space is more isn't it if the space is more it means it can move freely the interparticle forces are less and here what happens as the space is less interparticle forces are more and as the more than that of gas I will say and, and as the result the kinetic energy here will be less in this you have studied all the latent heat of vaporization the latent heat of fusion how the kinetic energy was 
understood by these terms and the most important thing the conclusion that state of matter can be changed into another state by changing the temperature okay if we change the temperature naturally what will happen the state of matter it means solid can be converted into liquid and liquid can be converted into gaseous form like you can see again i have taking the example of water only here when we applied heat what happened it changed it changed into liquid form and when we cool the liquid it can again change into the ice form here also you can see when we heat the liquid it changes into vapor form and when we cool this gaseous form of water what will happen or when we decrease the temperature it will again form water at said right now that solid can be changed into liquid and liquid can be changed change into gaseous form by changing the temperature but yes there are sub substances which can straight away change from solid to gaseous form okay like you have you can see camphor camphor means what kapoor okay chemical name what ammonium chloride okay here you can see the substance you all know it what happens in this the solid state changes directly into the gaseous form okay and this process is known as sublimation experimentally we can prove if you can see the picture we have taken a china dish okay we have taken what the stand the burner the inverted funnel and the cotton plug okay inside the china dish we have kept ammonium chloride and here when we heat this ammonium chloride we see the vapors coming up it gets or where it gets deposited in the uh, walls of the uh, funnel okay and here we are seeing the gases uh, in the solid form is directly changes into gaseous form and after cooling again we get back what this ammonium chloride all this process is known as what sublimation so sublimation is the process in which the solid changes into gaseous form by giving temperature to it it directly changes from solid to gaseous form now as we were studying that yes change in temperature leads to change in state of the substance i'm going to give you an idea of temperature and its different scales okay so what when we are saying temperature what is temperature temperature is a degree of the hotness of the system and this temperature scale there it is of three types celsius scale fahrenheit scale and kelvin scale when we talk about the celsius scale we represent it in degree celsius okay here if the calibration in that you can see is from 0 degrees uh, celsius to 100 degree celsius okay now coming to fahrenheit scale uh, fahrenheit scale it is represented as degree fahrenheit okay and here the calibration is from 32 degree fahrenheit to 212 degree fahrenheit kelvin scale we are saying this is the temperature scale it, this is in which we are using in labs and its si unit is kelvin and uh, you can see here if here we are going to use absolute zero because it has got the calibration of that and here you can see it is minus 273.15 degree celsius or you can say zero kelvin now how can we convert fahrenheit into celsius so degree fahrenheit here we have a formula degree fahrenheit is equal to 9.5 degree celsius uh, plus 32 you can get the fahrenheit if the celsius has been given when we want to change from celsius to kelvin what we are using we are using the formula kelvin is equal to 273 plus degree celsius so this is all about the temperature scale the change of state good day take care